welcome back! Today, Miss Taylor Swift has surprised us with a brand new album that is called Folklore and I am so excited because her last few albums have been great. I've greatly enjoyed Lover, which was her latest album. It came out last year, I think, so it's really kind of surprising that she's already putting out a new one, but also not really surprising because what are artists gonna do this year? Tour? You know, all tours are cancelled, so what do they have left? Making more albums. So it makes total sense, but you know, it's good for the fans because we actually get new content instead of like two years of touring, you know? So anyways, you can tell I'm really excited. Of course, before I start reacting to folklore, I would like to thank the wonderful people who are supporting me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much, you're amazing, your support helps me out a lot, I am very grateful. And if you're interested in supporting me beyond watching my videos, please check out my Patreon page in the description below. Alright, so before I start, I just wanted to say one thing. Thing. This album is called Folklore, and if this album is not gonna contain any folk elements, I will be angry at Miss Taylor Swift. I will genuinely be angry. You know, you get your title of an album Folklore, you better have some folk in it, and if you don't know yet, if <laughs> you're new here, I am a big fan of folk. I wasn't always a big fan of folk music and country music, but now I am, so I have expectations for this album, especially knowing that Taylor Swift has been, you know, famous for her country music. So this album is over one hour long and my attention span these days is not very good So I hope this is gonna be good. I hope this is gonna be worth it, Miss Taylor Swift So without further ado, let's get play and let's see what folklore is all about. Her song is called The One I hear piano and I already like it Oh I like this vibe already this vibe is very familiar. You know, it's that kind of slow, melancholic, downbeat Taylor Swift song. I really like this vibe. It's produced really nicely. Oh? Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Next up is Cardigan. I've heard a lot of good things about this one on Twitter. I like those percussions. Oh. Yeah. This is soft. I like that. It's very you know, appropriate for the theme. I'm still looking for them folk elements though. There's a few, but very subtle. Interesting lyrics. Production-wise, this so far is amazing. Songwriting-wise though, not like these two first songs are not that special in my opinion. It's really nice to listen to though. Like this is the kind of album that's really nice to have in the background when you're doing something. Well, <laughs> I say that having heard two songs, that's a little bit early for this assumption. I like those harmonies. Oh, I really like this part. Oh, I love this part of the melody. The emotion that this part had got here. Next up is The Last Great American Dynasty. That is gonna be interesting. So far, I love the vibe of this album. Oh! This is so nice! I like this, yes, yes, this is good. <laughs> These lyrics are... I don't know what to make of them. The melody and the production, amazing though. 
With Dolly? Ooh. <laughs> that line though. The way that this is produced though. It is exactly the stuff I like. It is so simple and soft and filled with pleasant melodies. Next up is Exile featuring Bon Iver. This is gonna be really interesting. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. That sounds so nice. Oh. Oh, I love this. I love how this sounds. That is god tier content, supreme lyrical and musical content. I like that line. I love that soft, subtle harmony. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is good. Yeah. I love the energy that this has. Oh my god, the strings. Strings and piano, instant, dramatic, sad energy that I love. <laughs> Next up is My Tears Ricochet. That is pretty. Oh, we love acapella harmonies. That sounds nice. Is that a little bit of vocoder backing vocal right here? That is nice. Oh. 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 Hello? Oh, I like that. Oh. That was good. Wow, I'm getting chills! I love that lyric. I have feelings and ideas about the song. I feel like the second part of the song is where it's at, like, at the, at the beginning it didn't seem so impressive, but the second part when the drums came in, it's like, wow. Next up is Mirrorball. Oh? I like this vibe. I love the echo of guitar and the soft drums. Oh, that's pretty. I like this. This is just such a nice album to just vibe to. And the song is the most chill song <laughs> so far. Oh. Those are really good lyrics. Next up is seven. Oh. Oh. This is different. This is what I've been waiting for. I love this. This is honestly the vibe that I imagined the album overall would have. 
This sounds like a flowing creek in the forest. my favorite so far, I think. Okay, this beat kind of ruins the vibe, to be honest. Next up is August. I already like this. Oh! I like this. I love this energy. I love how soft and warm this feels. I think it's the guitar. This melody is so good. Oh, that was good. Oh. Oh. Oh god, this is good. I love the dynamic range in the song. Oh, that was good. This is another favorite. I really like the progression in the song, the emotion. And the way that the emotion is showcased not only by the lyrics, but also by the dynamic range oh oh yeah this is good oh i love this outro that was so good next song is this is me trying which god if that ain't an absolute mood <laughs> This has a different energy. I love this vibe. I love the reverb on the vocals. I love this melody. Oh? That sounds so cool. <laughs> That is interesting. Those lyrics are really good. This production. Yes. Oh. This is good. Oh. Next up is Illicit Affairs. I like this. Oh. Oh. This. The way that this is written and produced, I feel like every single song has these little bits that just make you gasp and stop and pause. Wow. Oh. Oh. This. This. Oh my god. This, this storytelling. Incredible. Next up is Invisible String. That sounds nice. This is such a Taylor Swift song so far. I like this arrangement. I feel like musically this is really nice, but lyrically it's like, 
girl, you've written the song like 20 times at this point. This exact song. <laughs> Next song is called Mad Women. That's an interesting vibe. <laughs> That's how things work. <laughs> I like a mad woman. <laughs> Gotta agree with that. Oh. <laughs> cool lyrics. I love the instrumental here. Next up is Epiphany. Ooh. Oh. This already sounds intriguing. Oh. Oh. Yes. I love this vibe. Yes. There's something about this that's so good. I feel like very fitting for the title. I love that little ending. Yes. I love this. The harmony, yes. This is, oh yes, this is beautiful. This is so inspiring, yes, this is my favorite. That is so nice. This was incredible, I love it. Next up is Betty. Oh yes. Yes! 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 Thank you! The harmonica is giving me everything. I love this. This is interesting. <laughs> if that ass feels like a pop song just with a harmonica. You know what, I'm so starved for actual, like, folk stuff in this album that I will just add this to my list of favorites just because of the harmonica. <laughs> These lyrics are really good. I'm not gonna lie, this melody is really good. This is really nice, I like this. Oh. This is quite something, lyric wise. And what and then what happened? What happened? And oh my god, this this the suspense. Oh listen, this is listen this yes 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 all the way yes thank you Taylor Swift next up is peace and I feel like it's very hard to top the emotional turmoil that I went through with that last one. Oh, that guitar is nice though. That's a lengthy intro. It sounds really nice. Oh, those lyrics. And I like this production. 
It's a little bit more conceptual than some of the other songs. I love those lyrics, oh my god. And the final song on this album is called Hoax. So this is gonna be a sad ending. <laughs> this line. <laughs> yes. I really love the piano melody here. I mean, that's not news to anyone. <laughs> but this melody is really pretty. This song is really good. I feel like it's a good song, but I'm just not a fan of sad endings in albums. I don't know, like, it's a sad song, but I'm not feeling the sad, I guess. This line, I'm stealing it. <laughs> well, not for anything that I'm making, which is like, that's cater specifically to me. melody gorgeous so that was folklore by taylor swift now i'm gonna beat your ass taylor swift <laughs> where is the folklore except for that one harmonica i am asking where is the folk in the lore <laughs> i mean it was a really good album it was a really 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 good album i will say that it was so cohesive so consistent while being different and varied enough that it's not boring well it did get antsy towards the end but just because it was so ridiculously long i mean it was 16 songs and over an hour long so it's a really long album so it's not that it got boring it's just that i got antsy because you know it's a long album to just sit through and actively listen to however i feel like the highlight of this album is betty not just because of the harmonica not just because of that but because of the fucking lyrics Remember that was there was that one song uh, in Lover. I don't remember what it was called, but I remember that it was a really really good story. And Taylor Swift sort of does that sometimes, where she just does a song that has a story that is so engaging that I just I just can't help but get invested. And this time it was Betty, and literally in the in the bridge before the last chorus, you know, she was like, "So I came to your party, and I'm like, okay, okay, what then? What happened then? I need the conclusion to the story." So it's always so fun to experience and I don't feel like it happens with anybody else's songs The only two times that I've really truly experienced that is with this song Betty and that other song from Lover that I forgot the title of <laughs> Because I didn't listen to it much. But I love when songs do that. I, I mean, I love when artists do that. When songwriters write a song so compelling that you just like, you're actively invested in the story. And of course, besides Betty, Epiphany was amazing. It was the standout for me musically. It was inspiring. It inspired me to create something on my own, which is another thing that I look for in music. You know, music that inspires you to make something of your own, whether it would be a song, a drawing, a piece of writing, another kind of piece of art is amazing that's that's what's that's what music's for well among other things i feel like musically and well overall my other two favorites were seven and august and there were so many other cool songs too but those two musically were the closest to my heart besides the other two i mentioned lyrically this album had some really profound moments i feel like it wasn't as colorful as some of our other albums like it didn't really have gems that I would just absolutely get obsessed with. A lot of the songs were actually like typical Taylor Swift songs. Like Invisible String felt like just another Taylor Swift song, which I couldn't tell, I like I couldn't say that about a lot of her other songs, but it just felt like very, um, you know, didn't really stand out in any way. And once again, my main complaint is that there wasn't enough folk in an album title Folklore and having that kind of an artwork and having that kind of like aesthetic that you, you expect there 
there's gonna be like I don't know a lot more folk elements in there but hey this was still a good album and I really still enjoyed the mood that it created the feeling and emotions that it created and explored it was sort of whimsical in a way but it still had sort of like an urban polished pop feel you know when you think of folklore you think about something a lot more wild a little bit more rough a little bit more whimsical um so i don't know it was still a good album and i do have my favorites from this album so tell me in the comments below what are your favorite songs and what do you think about this album in general i'm really curious to know also subscribe if you want to see my future reactions and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time i love you guys bye what